Hi there then folks, thanks for joining. So, we're jumping straight in here and we're um, just a video of me cutting the rails. Um, there'll be a little VT in a second, it'll tell you what I've just done. Um, but I forgot to uh, record a little VT, so yeah, it's just me cutting the rails. So, I've just cut all the fronts there, so now we've got all of these cut, we're going to do the returns because these are the fronts of the legs or the front of the radiator cover. So then we're going to do the returns now which go into the wall. So they're all different so we're going to give them a cut now. So we've got all the bits cut um, to their size now. I've got three on the go at the minute, but like I said, I've only got enough MDF uh, in stock for two of them. Uh, I normally have five covers on the go, but I'm just doing two for the um, video purposes. So I've got them all cut to their right dimensions. I've just got to uh, cross cut them now to height and the length that they want. Um, there should be six parts to each cover. Cover, So you've got two rails, top and the bottom, two returns and two front styles. Um, just a little tip, um, well not really a tip, just a bit of common sense really. What I normally do is I normally mark them, because obviously with them being quite a lot of parts to it, um, I get confused. So I put Tracy, that's for Tracy, and F on there, so that's Tracy and that's the front rail. Uh, style, sorry, and there you go, it's Tracy front. Uh, and this one I've got Tracy and I've got rail on, so I know these are the top and the bottom rails, and these have got returns on the other side. So just so you don't get confused, just give them a little mark, um, and then you won't get confused what size is what, because sometimes they are the same dimension uh, as the rails, um, and it just just gets a little bit confusing. So it's just nice and easy just to keep on track of everything really. So I'm going to get the miter saw set up now, I've got a sheet of uh, MDF on the workbench so it's nice and flat um, and then we'll get these uh, cut up to size and then we can start connecting them all. They're all going to be connected with uh, biscuits, glue and pocket screws. Uh, the pocket screws are a new addition to the way I do the covers. Uh, I never used to put them in um, but I'm hoping, uh, I've done about five or six so far and it has worked. Um, so I'm hoping this will speed up the process, uh, so to speak, because when you use the biscuits and the glue, you have to put the clamps on and you have to wait for the glue to dry um, before you can start working on it. But the pocket screws are the clamps in a way. Um, so hopefully this will speed up the process and we can get the um, covers made up a lot faster and get them to the customers a lot faster as well, which is a win-win situation for everybody. Let's get this saw set up and let's get them all cut to bits and we can see them all joint together then. So folks, uh, I think I'm going to leave it there because, um, well, to be honest, I didn't realise how much uh, like editing and all of that time it takes. Um, still getting used to the whole thing, really. I know it's not very good, but at the minute it's the best I can do with what I've got. So, like it'll lump it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'll probably do two parts now. So you've got the legs all assembled. Just going to get one. So we've got the legs assembled for the radiator cover, that's how they look on faceways. 
we'll put the rails in next time um, and then we'll show you how we cut out for the skirting and um, probably might even be three parts I'll probably do one with the assembly and then I'll do one with the painting and finishing it so I hope you like it um, like I say I've done my best with what I've got um, obviously I'll learn more the more I do so please please subscribe if you don't subscribe don't matter I appreciate you watching um, and yeah see you next time